Hello my friends, my name is Claire and today I'm showing you all the amazing things I got at the thrift store, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Bloodshed Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos more than once a week, so click the like and the share. Help me get to 10K before the end of the year. This is an unplanned video, and I know that, oh, you know what? I'm gonna turn the fan off because I know somebody's gonna say it made them dizzy. Okay. It's just so hot in here. Oh yeah, first thing I wanted to show you, I didn't get this today. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in the picture. I did not get this today. I got this uh, like two weeks ago at the thrift store. It's this beautiful Betsy Johnson dress, like small floral, flowy, beautiful dress. I wore it out to do errands. I felt beautiful the whole time. I even got a compliment, which, you know, the older you get, the less you get. So, um, yeah, I think this was only, it wasn't more than $13. Retail price is about $100 on this dress. I found, I found it on, online. Yeah, it's beautiful and it makes me feel pretty and it isn't too hot, so. I would say win, win, win. Anyway, other thrift finds. I went to the thrift store today and I found more things that I liked than usual. So I just thought we could hang out and I could show you. That's the video. If you like thrifting, you'll probably like this. Is there yarn in this bag? Oh, I was about to say no, but I went up. There are two of these in here. I uh, had a pickup order from Joann's. I got some of the glow-in-the-dark yarn. They need to make a four-weight glow-in-the-dark yarn. Please, Lion Brand, please. I've looked everywhere for it, honestly. Every website, nothing. Everything is this, small. We want four-weight glow-in-the-dark yarn so we can make hats, okay? Thank you. Request submitted. As I mentioned, I got more than I thought I would at the store today. Uh, they had a crappy yarn selection. The lady who was there before me got probably the nicest yarn that they had and it wasn't, it was just like vintage Lion brand. So the first thing I'll show you, I'm really excited about actually. This was $2.99. Um, it is a tripod and it is smaller than my big one and bigger than my small one. <laughs> These can be a little pricey. Uh, this one looks like it gets really big. But the issue I'm having with my small one is it gets a little top heavy. So I figured, oh yeah, this is much better. This is amazing. For $2.99, probably would be about $20. It doesn't have the attachment, but I have all the attachments. So what a great deal. What a thrifting deal. Now I won't have to worry anymore about my tripod falling over when I'm filming shorts on my phone, which is what I'm filming on right now. Not my fancy camera. Uh, I guess I'll go over fabric next. They had some good fabric today. Somebody donated a lot. This is a beautiful cotton with stripes embroidered through it. It's very soft. I thought it would make like a really nice blouse. There's probably, does this fold over? Yeah, there's a lot here. Probably mm, two, two yards. It's very light. It would be good for like a summer top. And I like, th I like fabric that's embroidered, so. Yeah, that's really pretty. That was $2.99 which is a great deal for that much uh, embroidered cotton fabric. Really lovely. Uh, next one's a bit of a wild card. It says it's one and a half yards. They had a whole pile of like pieces like this. 
Uh, why did I get this? It reminded me of the Ren Fair. And normally stuff like this is really, really expensive. It's probably, it could be silk, but it, it doesn't, it could be silk, but I'm not, I'm thinking it's probably polyester. And then it's got embroidery on top of it and then all these little pearls. It was $3.99. There is probably, yeah. yeah, there's like two yards of it. It's not very wide, but like I could use that as like the front of a dress. There's more than enough for that um, or something else, but it's really fancy with the pearls. It's just like a cream color. It's meant to be like, it's meant to look like silk, I think, but I'm just doubting that it is. That was like my wild card, really pretty pearl encrusted champagne fabric for a costume, but for $3.99 and usually two yards of this would probably be about $40. So I'm good. I'm good with that. Oh, I love this. It says it is one and three fourths yards. I'm hoping there will be enough to make a pair of pajama pants. It was $3.99. I've been looking for a fabric like this all over the place and I haven't been able to find one. Oh yeah, I think it's definitely gonna be enough for pajama pants with a like a vintage floral pattern on it. How pretty is that? There's, it says one and one third yards, but it could be two yards. If you're new here, I love yarn and fabric from the thrift store. I just love to look for it and find like really good deals on it. It makes me feel like a queen. <laughs> Maybe not a queen, but. Wow, okay, this I was super excited about. Now they did have like polyester velvet like for a Santa suit. I almost bought that, but I wasn't really super into it. Look at this, this was $4.99. It's like burnt orange velvet. catch it in the light there. It's really pretty. Probably about two yards. It's like a burnt orangey red, super dark. How gorgeous is that? Let me go grab the other velvet that I have and compare it. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought it was a similar color, but different. This is the other one I have. It's more muted. And this one is like way richer. But I do feel the, now I can't remember the name of it. The fibers on, on this velvet are longer maybe than the other one, but it's still super nice. Yeah, look how pretty and folly that color is. Cheap. Cheap, $5.99, $4.99, cheap. Well, so that's the fabric I got. I got four different fabrics. This one is so soft. I really hope there's enough to make a whole thing of jammies. I'm like really into the idea of making my own clothes. And for $3.99, it's just very luxury feeling. Nice, lightweight. Win, win. All right, two more things. Uh. I like looking through the tchotchke section and for some reason this time around they had a lot of brass. Now, there was a reseller, which is fine. Girl, do your thing. She looked about my age, she looked cool. Uh, going through and definitely picking out like different brass and pottery, which I mean, yeah, again, do your thing. Uh, but there were a few things that she left that I loved. So who's the real winner now? The first thing 
This is made in India. It is just a bud vase. 250 249 it is probably at least two pounds probably it's very heavy and I thought it would go with the look of the things I have in my home and I grow a lot of my own flowers and sometimes uh the vases I have are too big like I just have one stem so I don't have anything like this where I could just put one stem in it so so beautiful for $2.50 and it's like, I mean, if an intruder comes into my house, that would hurt somebody. It's heavy. Ooh, the final thing. Um, is it a hundred percent brass? I don't know that. And there's no marking on it. I'll have to do a Google search. There is a wee bit of damage back here, like where the joint is. This was $7.99, and I normally don't spend that much on stuff from the thrift store. I have to do a little more research, but look at this. Wouldn't this be perfect to keep my jewelry in? It is so gorgeous. It might be like just um, brass covered or something. It doesn't feel as, like this feels heavier than this does. Cast brass or something. Um, but it is gorgeous. Just the little nick out of the hinge there, but who's ever gonna see that? And then it seems to have like carnations on it. Really pretty. I wonder what those mean. Yeah, it looks like carnations or freesias or something on it. So cute and royal looking. Would be perfect for my bedroom aesthetic. So I normally, again, wouldn't pay $8.99 for something like this. But it was too nice to pass up. With any luck, it'll be from probably the, the 40s or 50s. The bottom has this beautiful um, cast pattern in it as well. And then the back is all done up too. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I will look it up. And I can't wait to, depending on what it is, polish it and put it in my bedroom. So cute. So what was the damage? Before tax, it was $29.53. So I got a tripod, two pieces of brass, maybe, and four different cuts of fabric. I did have to buy a bag. That was 10 cents. And also, I didn't use a coupon. Now, if you go to Savers, please use a coupon. Bring something to donate. They'll give you a 20% off coupon. I just didn't have anything today. But that's it. That's my fun thrift haul. What was your favorite thing? I love thrifting. Is it not the best thing in the world? My mom is super into it, too. It's like a whole family thing. I just like old stuff. I like old stuff and I like looking for it. And I like fabric and I like yarn. And you know who else likes fabric and yarn and old stuff? People who are older and need to donate their stuff to the thrift store. Anyway, guys, I hope that you had a fun time. I hope that you liked my finds. Let me know what you liked in the comments. Did you get any good thrift finds recently? I'll see you later. Thanks for this fun impromptu video with me. Bye.